Hello, I'm Holly Tompkins, the Senior Development Review Planner, Department of Planning and Zoning. We're here with another segment on the Southern Kent Island Sanitary Project. Our topic is project funding. With me is Jonathan Seaman, Director of Budget and Finance. Welcome. Thank you. Hi, Holly. I'm Jonathan Seaman, and I'm the Director of Budget and Finance for Queen Anne's County. And um, I have been doing this for about 30 years, where I've been involved with public financing. And in this uh, task, I was asked to look at how this project was going to be funded and how we were going to financing and what was going to be the impact on homeowners. So that leads into the first good question is how did you come up with the target charge for homeowners? Well we came up with a target charge of $100 per month uh, which is what we think is a, a, a reasonable fair cost to charge for the existing homeowners. Um, we looked at several different agencies uh, who are regulatory agencies and who deal with this kind of thing on a regular basis. So we looked at the Federal Environmental Protection Agency, we looked at the Maryland Department of the Environment, and they used standards of some percentage of income as a measure of what would be affordable. Some of them use 1%, some of them use 2%, um, but we came up with a charge. We also used the um, example of a similar project, the Sylvan Shores project in Anne Arundel County is a similar type of project and they have a target charge of $100 per month. So there is no set standard in the industry but based on what we looked at we thought that $100 fit the models the best and was the most reasonable for us to shoot for here in Queen Anne's County. Okay. And the part of it, let me just say that the part of how we achieve that is through the use of an economic benefit premium as part of how we develop the charge. So what exactly is the economic benefit premium? Uh, well, we anticipate that there will be some number of vacant lots uh, that will be served by this step system in addition to the existing homeowners. And the, um, the vacant lots, uh, have a, we have a consultant who's looking at what is the actual increase in value for them through having this project. For the most part, because of the septic failures and the health regulations, those who are on the vacant lots can't really develop their properties now. But with the installation of the septic uh, system, they would have um, an increased value for their property, which enables us to charge a differential because they, bu they benefit substantially from the, uh, the, uh, by our having the septic system in place. Uh, so the vacant uh, lot owners will pay a higher charge, an economic benefit premium, which we've used in other projects in the county as well. Where would those projects be? We had some of the uh, systems that we put in place were in uh, Clover Fields and Bay City. And so we have some precedent for using an economic benefit premium, um, which is used not just by us, but other systems use that as well to take into account the fact that uh, their uh, properties are significantly uh, more valuable because they can develop once the system is in place. So they do charge, we do charge a higher fee to the, uh, uh, to the vacant owners who develop as opposed to the existing homeowners. How much uh, grant money or loan money do you expect to receive for project funding? Well, we, uh, based on the target charge, we came up with a figure for the state of about $9.7 million that would, they would need to give us in uh, Bay Restitution Fund uh, funding as a grant. Um, and putting the model together, we had to use the state uh, grant money in order to achieve the target charge of $100 per month. So the state is already giving us this uh, Bay Restitution Fund money. They're giving us about a million dollars a year. Uh, but what we'd have to do is reallocate the money so that we could use it for this purpose. And that's dependent on having legislation through the General Assembly that the state would have to pass 
that would allow these funds to be used for this type of septic system in a non-priority funding area. And so we calculated, came up with this figure of about $9.7 million that they would need to provide in order for us to achieve that, um, that the target charge along with using the economic benefit premium. We also will re request a loan through the Maryland Department of the Environment as they have low interest loans um, which will also help us to achieve that. So we can get a much better rate if we go through the state and having that lower loan cost will en also enable the homeowners to pay the $100 uh, per month target charge. What would the actual finance arrangement be? Would you also sell bonds? Well, we would have to have some type of financing mechanism. So all of the cost, which includes the cost of the system, which is about, we've estimated at about $37 million, plus there is a connection charge, which we charge everybody who hooks up to the system and is based on uh, actually paying for the uh, treatment plant and kind of the existing infrastructure that will still have to be used with this step system. So if you put those together, it really comes out to be about $50 million. And uh, so we would have some type of bonds so we wouldn't be paying that money all up front. We'd basically be financing it through some type of revenue, vo revenue bonds. But the key is that the, we would need the Bay Restoration Funds and the state loan from the state, and that's what would make it possible to achieve the target. So that's really key to this project and making it um, as affordable as, as it is, is by having the state contribution so we don't have to uh, shoulder all of the cost ourselves with the county government. Thank you very much, Jonathan. Is there anything else you would like to add to that? Well, I would suggest that uh, you could uh, check our website, would be one way to get in touch with us, or you can send me an email at jseeman, that's J-S-E-E-M-A-N, at qac.org, and I'd be happy to respond to any questions or comments. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm.